Good morning, Church Mag server. Red Top 85 here, and that's right. Welcome to 1.9. That's right. Shield. See that? See that? Can't even get me. All right. Well, as you can tell, I am in the capital city, and we're going to just go out here and go through a quick tour of our capital. We've done a lot of changes since the last time you guys may have seen a video about this. And I'm just um, filming this video as a way to both introduce myself. Uh, Red Tops 85 that's my gamer tag. I'm, my real name is actually Benjamin Smith. And I just kind of wanted to introduce myself and also show our server off a little bit and our new capital because I've personally put a lot of work into capital. Okay, so as you've seen before, starting out here, this is eventually going to be a road to our spawn area. And uh, this is kind of a agricultural area leading into the city. This is built by uh, Geekathar. And uh, as you can see, we've got ourselves a little radio tower over there in which we can actually go over there and take a quick overview of the city before going further. But first, got to kill this creeper. Creeper... Oh, uh, okay. We only needed one. Good. All right. Now, let's go this way. And up these cool stairs. I love this little path. All right. And up, 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 up. And oops, a little further up, we got a little hut here, just in case we need to camp out up here. Let's open up the little door here and climb the stairs to the top of the radio tower. Kids, do not do this at home. You will fall and die. All right, here we go. We are at the top, and there it is, folks. There it is. It's such a beautiful sight. It really is a beautiful sight. So, and there's our Church Mag logo there. This is a advertising billboard. So, all right, let's. Uh, that's a gorgeous view too. So, all right, let's go down and take a look at some of the new stuff because there is a lot to be seen. Um, there is actually more there than what may appear to the naked eye, so to speak. All right, so you'll see we did this really cool wall around our city. I would just, we kind of just wanted to go to like a really kind of modern look for a wall rather than just a typical um, like medieval style wall or anything like that. So, and of course the entrance, which is wide open, can be triggered in and out of here. It's a little bit glitchy. You have to do it a couple times to get the uh, top and the bottom to come down. And if you just leave uh, one of them up or down, yeah, you gotta have both. Because if you leave this one or one of these, anyways, it can be jumped over. I don't know if mobs will jump over it, but it can be jumped over by players. All right, so this is like our main street. Of course, this is the armor shop that belongs to Geekathar. And this is a apartment building, which uh, commercial shops below. Um, I built this one particularly. Um, this is kind of like a eatery right here. It's got some food in it, and then over here is another shop area, just for rent actually, for lease. If anyone wants to lease it, this one I, I originally was going to lease this shop, but then I decided to start stocking it. So this is a going to be a really awesome looking shop. It's got like different aisles and decor items, and uh, that's right. You can get new shields right here available, along with a cross shield that I built. There's regular shields. There's some cross shields. So, and then this is our Lava Springs Park for 
rest and relaxation. We got some coarse dirt in here and lavas and waters. And there's no fishing allowed in here, so if I catch you doing it, I will send the iron golem after you. So let's just continue traveling down this road here. This lot, I'm still probably gonna build some kind of additional store or something there around our sign. We've got another empty lot here that's waiting and available in here. Two more empty lots. And then this is our factory. This factory is really cool. Um, we also have a subway station here, which I'll show you that later. We've got lots of little like water things that go down. Underwater, I'll show you our underground area later, but we've got our docks. Pretty cool. Nice little crate and everything. Storage. Our cobblestone factory, which is... Uh, I don't have a pickaxe with me, but oh, I wish I had a pickaxe. Anyways, as you can see, we've got a lava source and a water source, and behind this area, we've got our, a redstone clock powering three uh, pistons for three lines of cobblestone uh, generation. So every time you mine a cobblestone off that line, oops, then um, one more will appear. And of course, we have this to stop it right there. Yeah, so that's our factory. And there's uh, jobs there if anybody needs a job. All right, so let's just go over here real quick and show you a couple more quick little things before we go underground where all of our really new stuff is. Of course we've got um, Augment's got a house there it looks like. I'm not 100% sure whose house this is but it's looking pretty cool. Our library. Now there's a secret underground uh, area under this library as well but I will leave that for the creator of it show off. So we've got our warehouse which you've seen in other videos and our capital building and uh, some park areas, some more buildings. I'm working on a new residential house area over here but it's not quite um, complete yet but I did create this really awesome swimming pool. We got ourselves some cabanas, we got a water slide, and two diving boards. This one for those who are maybe a little scared of heights. And then this one is for the brave, the bold. The other day I actually saw a creeper up at the top of that. Took a picture of it. It was pretty funny. So, alright. And then this is still a work in progress over here. But this is going to be just some very cool looking residential houses. So, running a little laggy right now because I've got the video recording in the background but I'm gonna hurry this along because I really want to show you guys the underground more than anything right now alright so this is our other this is another subway station right here so this is subway station Main Street so we go down here got a little decor going on and this is our subway got two tracks going all the way around. Oh, let's get it. this part right there. So let's go this way. Got our sword just to keep that running or something along the way. Oh, shoot. Okay, and then here is another subway station. This is for what I call Water Street. And we keep going. Now this goes under the library. I had to go way underground because of some other things going on with the library. And then this goes oh Oh boy. Okay, 
Okay, that was not expected. Wow. That was scary. Okay, so FYI, I'm getting all food. There's a creeper rolling around in our subway right now. I'll just I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna hoof it the rest of the way, anyways. All right, this subway continues on around. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then this is this this is uh, Oak Lane, which is actually across from the factory, another subway station. Right, let's come around and find this creeper we're gonna have to take him out. This is one of the waterways leading into our underground sewage system, which is the coolest part. So we've got our subway going all the way around the city. And we also have an underground sewage system, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Okay, I don't know where that creeper went, but I'm just going to have to come back to it. Alright, so here's the entrance to our underground sewage system. All throughout the roads, I've got different waterways leading underground to a sewage area that I just basically created for looks more than anything, add a little element of fun of exploring. So this is the sewage, it kind of stinks. It's got some mossy cobble and some vines growing all around here. And keep going this way. Sorry if I'm boring you guys here, I might speed this up, we'll see what happens. So, more water underground area, we'll come back to that door in a minute. Sewage just runs all the way, all the way along here. A little bit of an area here, where water's coming down. More vines, a couple of vines that are hanging down from the roof. Another water area coming down and now this goes all the way out to here and this is the docks this is our harbor so this is where the water or the sewage ends and actually flows into the harbor so you could actually if you want to go out into the harbor and the water if you really wanted to but we're not going to do that so once again keep going this way Run through these vines and we're just going to go back I want to show you guys one more really cool thing. So, after building this underground, I thought to myself, what is an underground without something secret to discover? Let's go through this door. After all, what's an underground without an underground club? That's right, club underground. So this is our underground club, which is pretty cool. And uh, I don't know why, but I've replaced this a dozen times, and they just keep going missing. So, and, oh, what is this? Insert music disc to activate dance floor. Oh, snap. We got to do that. Woo. Get a music disc. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, snap. Get ready for this. Dancing. At the underground dance floor. Alright, well, like I said, guys, Red Tops 85 here. And this has been fun.